hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back welcome back to another video so we're gonna jump straight into today's video today we're gonna try using some flexi rods some curl rods whatever you want to call them whatever you call them i just got mine from the local two dollar shop it was two dollars a pack the products I'll be using today are Cantu Leave-In Conditioner and Chia Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I'm going to start off by sectioning my hair. I'm doing moderately small sections but still manageable sections because I only had four packs of the rods. So go in finger detangling, then go into detangling with a wide tooth comb, then go in with my um, tangle teaser. This is all on damp hair, never detangle on dry hair then I'll go in with the flexi rod and start twisting it around my hair now as I twist it I sort of twist my hair as well similar to as if you were doing a two strand twist but you're sort of doing a two strand twist with the rod as one of the other twists so after I finish and I get to the end of my hair I sort of wrap it up and fold it so that it holds So I'm going to show this again to you guys, go in, damp my hair, make sure my hair is damp and start detangling it, starting from the wider tooth comb to the lowest tooth comb, then I'll go in and start wrapping the rod around my hair and twisting my hair as I wrap the rod around it. I hope that makes sense guys. <laughs> and then once I get to the end, I fold it and just secure it so that it holds its place. So I use this sort of twisting method with my hair because I found as I was doing my research with the other videos that when you just sort of do it normally it ends up looking as if you're sort of doing your hair with rollers and it comes out a little bit flat and not as twisted as you want it to be or as I like it to look so that's why I am um, sort of twisting my hair as I twist it around the flexi rods. Once I get to the end and you're done, usually on a normal day, I'll most likely put my satin bonnet on and sleep overnight with it. But because it is a weekday and I do have work tomorrow, I am going to blow dry it instead. I'm not a fan of using heat on my hair, but for the sake of this video, we're going to use some heat so you guys can see the results firsthand. So the best thing to use for this will probably be, you know, those hair dryers that you sit in, not a, a portable hand dryer like this. So you just got to use what you have to the best of your ability. <laughs> so after I blow dry it, I'm going to start undoing all the little twists. Um, halfway, not really even halfway, very early on I realized that some of the hair sections are too thick and that my hair is still wet. So I wrap it back up and I go again with my hair dryer just to dry it a little bit more. Once I've dried it a little bit more, I start undoing my the whole of my head. Still, I realized that some of the sections were too thick, so I would recommend you guys to go with the smaller sections than the bigger sections so that the hair can dry properly and the curls will be more defined. Once I finish taking out all the rods, I start separating my hair so I'm separating it as little as possible just to make sure that there's volume but I don't destroy the curls that was a bit tricky because my hair was still a little bit damp in some sections that were too thick so some of the definition did go away straight away but as you can see with some of the sections that were a lot smaller the definition is really nice and the curls turned out really really well
Once I finish separating it all, I'll go in with my pick and start removing the lines of demarcation that were in my hair from all the segments. And then I'll start to sort of just style the hair to make it sit right and to make sure that it's just looking cute and it's looking nice and stuff like that. Obviously this would look so much better and with more definition if the hair was actually dry. But I hope you guys understand and you get what I was trying to do anyway. The style is still really cute regardless but it would look even cuter once your hair is actually dry so I would recommend allowing it to dry overnight and then going in with a hair dryer as well the next day just to make sure that it's fully dry. So that's the finished look, super cute, super easy. So I'm just going to tie my hair and show you guys what it would look like in a puff. Just imagine more definition. <laughs> I'm going to try this again for an event I'm going to over the weekend. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on my Instagram. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can see what it actually looks like when it's dried and it's looking hella cute. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys have liked this video. Make sure to comment down below and leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you don't miss a notification every time the video is posted. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys next week. Mwah.